హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ప్రతిభ వర్చువల్ క్లాసెస్ టుడేస్ అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ మల్టిపుల్ స్టాక్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ద టాపిక్స్ వీ లెర్న్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఈజ్ మల్టీ స్టాక్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద అల్గర్థమ్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ద మల్టిపుల్ స్టాక్ అండ్ హౌ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ టూ స్టాక్స్ యూజింగ్ అరే అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ దూ డిఫరెంట్ మెథడ్స్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ద టూ స్టాక్స్ వాట్ ఈజ్ మల్టిపుల్ స్టాక్ in some situation a sting, single stack is not efficient not sufficient to store large amounts of data okay the sting, single stack is not sufficient to store large amounts of to overcome this we can use the multi stack or multiple stack for this we are used the single array which having more than one stack and the array is divided for multiple stacks suppose there is an array which has the n size stack which is divided into two stacks stack a and stack b whose size is 10 that is n is equal to 10 and stack a expands from left to right from zeroth element stack b expands from right to left that is from 10th element okay the combined size of both stack a and stack b never exceeds the 10 okay this is the stack whose size is 10 array stack a is uh, moves expands from left to right and stack b is from expands from right to left here we uh, inserted the three elements so uh, for top element for the stack a becomes this 30 and uh, top element for stack b becomes 42 that is the eighth position and this is the second position for the stack a the algorithm to implement two stacks is the start with two indexes one at the left and other at the right end of the array the first index starts from left side and the next other in other index starts from right that is the end of the array from this side left index simulate the first stack and second index simulates the right stack right stack this is the left stack and this is the right stack if we want to put the elements in the first stack then put the element at the left index and similarly if we want to put the elements into the second stack that is the second stack b or stack 2 or this we have to put the element at the right index first index grows first stack stack grows towards right and second stack grows towards the left here it uh, grows uh, right okay this is the algorithm to implement the two stacks here we are using the implementing two stacks in an array first create the data structure two stacks whose name data structure is two stacks which represents the two individual stacks implementation of two stacks array uh, should use only one array that is both stacks you should use the same array for storing the elements okay uh, uh, for that array for that stack we we have to perform the operations two push operation push one push two and two pop operation pop one pass two push one and in text with the uh, which is pushing or inserting elements into the first stack push to operation is pushing x the specified in the integer element into the second stack pop one pops element from the first stack and return the popped element pop two pops an element but that is deletes the removes element from the second stack and return the pop element and next implementation of two stack should be space efficient for this we have the two methods the first method is the divide the space in, in two halves okay divide the available space in the array into two halves 
okay in this the two stacks is to divide array into two halves and assign the half of space to two stacks first half for first stack and second half for the second stack so that is if the array size is n then array of 0 to array of n by 2 for stack 1 array of n by 2 plus 1 to array of n minus 1 for stack 2 where array is the array to be used to implement the two stacks whose size is n okay when we are implementing um, two stacks using this method this is ineffic inefficient use of the array space because if we are pushing operation in this in this method push operation may result the stack overflow even there is space available in array for example if our size array size is 10 so uh, we divide this array into two sizes uh, from 0 to 4 it uses the first stack and 5 to 9 it uses the second stack if we push the elements five elements into the first stack and only three elements are pushed into the second stack. So, how many are left for the second stack? We have two uh, memory elements free for the second stack or array. If we want to push another element into the stack A or stack 1, then it results the overflow. Because it is available for two elements for the array, but it did not use. This is the... Uh, inefficient use of the array space this is the disadvantage of this method okay this may uh, in the second method this can be overcome for example uh, let's see here the array size is 6 and we push the elements to stack 1 and do not push anything into the second stack so we have left three elements so from fourth element the stack uh, when we want to push the elements into the stack 1 there will be overflow even if we have space 3 for more elements in the array okay this is the problem with, with this type of method in the second method it is the space efficient implementation in this the space can be efficiently used to push the elements into the stack this method efficiently utilizes the available space is it is belongs to first stack or second stack or anything but it uses the efficient utilization of the array space okay it does not it doesn't cause an overflow if there is space available in the array okay if there is a sp available space for the array it doesn't causes the overflow for in, for, uh, for the first method it can causes the overflow okay the idea is to start two stacks from two extreme corners of the array okay in this we start from uh, first st stack starts from the uh, left index and the uh, second stack starts from the uh, right corner or end of the array that is the maximum size of the array so stack one starts from left to most element the first element in stack one is the push rate index zero the stack 2 starts from the rightmost corner that is the element the first element in stack 2 push rate if the size is n then n minus 1 is its index position both stacks grow in opposite direction stack 1 goes in this direction and stack 2 grows in this direction and shrinks also opposite direction it shrinks this type it shrinks this this is for stack 1 then this is for to check for overflow we need to check for space between top elements of both stacks what are the top elements and what is the space available in between those two top elements we have to check then only we can push or pop or anything operation can be performed on the those array for this why example uh, uh, using the implementing the two stacks is the here we are including the IO stream because we are implementing using the C++. So here namespace, here we named the class as the two stacks. We are declared the array pointer, integer pointer and it is, this is the size for the max size of the array and we are declared the two, L, two top one and top two for the topmost elements of the two stacks. The constructor which is used to initialize the members of the class the size is initialized to n when we are creating the object we are pushing the size of the array 
then array created with new int n okay the n size becomes the array size and top one is initialized with minus one which in, which is for the stack one which grows from left side and top two is the size that is the uh, maximum size that is the n okay which grows from maximum to uh, 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 from left side that is maximum to zero okay this is the pushing an element into the stack one push one we are pushing the element x for this at least one empty space for a new element so that if top one grad less than top two minus one okay then then only we can in, we can the top one is the top element of the first stack and top two is the top element of the second stack so we have to check what is the is that is available space in between the top one and top two then only we can uh, insert the elements into the stack always the when we are pushing the elements into the first stack it must be less than the top two okay that is the stack two's top element so then top one can be increased and then that at that position the elements can be pushed else it can displace stack overflow and exit from the loop and next another is the push to which is used to push the elements into the stack two okay in, in these situations also also we we must at least one empty space for the new element to insert the insert element into the stack two in these situations if here also we are checking if top one less than top two minus one he, here top one increases here from it uh, stack two grows from right to left so it top two is decreases because top two is assigned to size that is the maximum size at that position it <coughs> the element is inserted else it displays the stack overflow and the pop pop operations that is uh, removing elements from the stack uh, for the pop one this is for removing element from the stack one if top one greater than or equal to zero okay if there is elements in the zero then only we can uh, remove okay then uh, we are declaring one variable x that is array of top one okay that index is assigned uh, that element is assigned to x and top one is decreases and returns that popped elements else it displays the stack underflow and exits from the loop and pop two which is used to remove the element from the second stack if top two less than size okay then we can remove Okay, int x x is assigned to the top uh, the uh, topmost element is uh, assigned to x and top two is increases. Okay, then it returns the x value. Else, uh, otherwise it displays the stack underflow and exit one which is used to uh, exit from the loop. And main method driver program or main method for this is. Here we are created the two stacks as the stack uh, name uh, object as the TS whose size is passed n as the phi. So array size becomes the phi. TS dot push one. We are pushing the elements into the first stack. TS dot push two. Okay. We are pushing the element into the second stack. Push two again the second in the stack two we have the two elements push one next again we are pushing the second element next push two we are pushed the second so in the first stack we have 5 and 11 in the second stack 10 15 7 7 so the topmost element in the stack 1 is the 11 the topmost element in the stack 2 is the 7 so when we are popping the operation or removing the element the topmost element is first removed that is the uh, 11 in the uh, pop 1 so we are performing the pop 1 so topmost element is 11 so the pop element is written that is the 11 and when we are performing again we are pushing push 2 to 40 and uh, we have the, we are that in the stack we are 10 50 and 7 again here we have the 40 now this becomes the top elements when we are popping the pop operation on the stack 2 pop 2 operation is for stack 2 
then the top element is removed that is the 40 okay this is the uh, exam uh, implementation of the um, two stack correct okay like this it can be used in the summary in this session we learn about the what is the multi stack and what is the algorithm to implement stack the for the multi stack it may be the two stack array two three stack or n stack here in this uh, session we learn about the two stacks using the array and it's two different methods okay first method is inefficient for the uh, usage of the array space but the second method which uses uh, which uses from left side for the stack one from the right uh, from the maximum size to uh, left it is the second stack the second uh, method is the best method uh, or in efficient usage of the space available in the array okay and thank you one and all don't forget to subscribe my channel okay